Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. With hearts of joy and praise, the people of God together say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, it's such a blessing to have you back again with us this morning. I trust that you are walking in the Spirit, full and alive of Messiah Jesus, and ready to do and perform the great works that he has set before you. Now, today is September the 28th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, a quick note, the saga continues. My computer is sick, so I've sent it off to the hospital, the computer hospital. And it won't be back for a couple of weeks, so we're relying upon the old computer. And uh, so our videos may still be a little short, but I'll do my best to get them out and to ensure that I can tell you everything that the Lord has laid upon my heart. Today, our text is going to be taken out of Galatians chapter 5. Now, oftentimes when we talk about the things of God, especially as children of God, we talk about obedience unto the Lord. It's much easier said than done. And you know that to be true, and I certainly know that to be true. We are all fighting the same battle. We are fighting against the flesh, and we are seeking to be true in walking in the Spirit. But that's not always easy, like I said. Now, our text, Galatians chapter 5 and verse 17 says, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But back up and look at verse 16. Walk in the spirit, and you will not, you cannot fulfill the lust of the flesh, because these two war against one another. So whatever the flesh wants to do, you know the Spirit of God wants you to do right the opposite. So if the Spirit says pray, your flesh would most likely say watch TV, go outside and do something fun, anything but pray, anything but read your Bible, anything except talk to others about the great things that Jesus can and will do in their lives. But I really want to focus this morning on that idea of walking in the Spirit. And if you walk in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now stop and think about that for just a moment. There are many times throughout our day where we become aggravated. Well, we're not walking in the Spirit. We become irritated. Well, we're not walking in the Spirit. We may become envious of others. We're not walking in the Spirit. We may become argumentative or combatant with others where we're not walking in the Spirit. We may involve ourselves in activities or conversations that we know that if Jesus was standing right there beside us, we wouldn't partake of. Well, friends, we're not walking in the Spirit. You see, to walk in the Spirit means that we must be conscientious of each moment, each thought, each word, each action, every detail of our lives so that we can remain in the Spirit of God. And this requires a lot of effort because to remain in the spirit of God means that we remain with our mind upon the things of God. And so we're thinking from a heavenly realm. We're thinking outside of the domain that we live in. And yet everything that happens sucks us back into this domain, into this world. And so we have our minds upon the things of God, but as activities and conversations and life is going on around us, it's easy for us to get pulled back in to this life. And to walk in the Spirit means that we step above this life, we step above this world, and we look down upon the world, but our minds and our thoughts are upon the things of God. And so, friend, the Bible reminds us of this today because of the importance of it. And the reason that it is so important is because the only way that we can be used of God, by God, is when we are in his spirit. When we are in the flesh, we cannot be used by him. So again, we must be conscientious 
about every detail of our lives, ensuring that it brings glory to God, praise to Jesus in all things and at all times. Well, friends, I'm going to leave you there this morning. That is quite a challenge, both for myself and I'm sure it is for you as well. But today, let your focus be upon walking in the spirit, not in the flesh, for the spirit and the flesh war against one another, so that if you are fulfilling the desires of the flesh, you are omitting the work of the Spirit. If you are fulfilling the work of the Spirit, you are denying the work of the flesh. And that's what we must understand. And because we've been born in human bodies, raised in a physical earth, it's very hard for us to get our heads around sometimes the spiritual realm, the spiritual domain, what this means. But you keep working at it, friends, and I promise you will accomplish it. Just like a small baby, a baby doesn't go from an infant to a teenager overnight, nor will you. But if you remain nourishing yourself and feeding yourself upon the things of God and the Word of God, you will grow in the Spirit, friends, and you'll begin to understand things that you never thought possible. Well, friends, I love you again. I'm so grateful that you're here this morning. I pray that your spirit has been blessed and fed and that the word of God will lead you and guide you throughout the remainder of your day. Now, as he wills and until next time, I do love you and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.